shall we begin? Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the 20 Days of Gold Making. Before I get into day number three, tips and tricks, uh, I just want to say I have a brand new microphone. I'm hoping that it's going to go a lot better than my previous one. And let's get on with the video. So again, day number three, tips and tricks. What were the first techniques you used starting out? Uh, well, back when I started out, we did not have Wowhead as it is today, so we didn't really have a centralized guide of where to go and get anything. Uh, you found stuff by checking out blog guides all over the internet that you had to go search for, and they took a while to find. Um, I was lucky enough to obtain a copy uh, of a gold making guide from a friend of mine who was in the guild. Uh, he had paid 50 bucks for it, and he sent the 200 pages or so of it to myself. And I used that and this blog guide on market manipulation to make my early money. Um, that was pretty much it when I started out. There wasn't a whole lot of information that was centralized in one spot, so... Yeah. Okay, and here's the part of the video where I'm going to give you guys some tips. Um, you're definitely going to want bag space. You want the largest amount of bag space you can possibly carry. Uh, what that's going to do is... If you're out farming, it's going to make it so you don't have to go and empty your bags as much. And farm for longer. Uh, if you're a bank, have more that you can carry and more that you can throw up at any given time on the auction house. Uh, speaking of banker alts, I would recommend at least one banker alt. This is a centralized location that you can go and send all your goods to, and it makes it easier to throw it up onto the auction house from one location. Uh, another one, you want to diversify. You do not want to have where you're selling just potions or crafting mats for this one expansion. You want to have crafting mats from all expansions possible. You want to have uh, all potions that are good, bad, or you know, definitely current stuff. Um, you want to have uh, transmog from every instance possible that you can get in and, and farm some transmog for. Uh, you want to have a little of everything. You want to have your fingers in every little market because one or two items you're not going to sell very quickly. But if you have a thousand items, ten thousand items, whatever, those are more likely to sell faster. I mean, you're going to notice the sales faster than if you only sell one or two items for you know a million bucks. Uh, and, and of course, uh, have some fun. If you're not having fun, move on to a different instance. Move on to a different uh, activity. If you ever feel that you're getting burned out, change it up. Find something new to do. Um, other than that, you can find more tips and tricks of mine watching my stream, watching my YouTube here. I'll be posting more videos in the your dates to come as I fix a few things since items such as server hop do not currently work. Um, but yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you will come back for more. Uh, tomorrow we got day four on storing gold, and I will see you then or catch you in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.